Hi, I'm CL Backstrom. I'm here today with what I understand to be the longest um, intact mutuality group in Trillium Awakening. They've been meeting for more than five years, currently meeting once a month. And the question I have for each member of this group is what has been the value of being in a mutuality group, especially one, what I understand that you're even spanning three different countries and multiple time zones as a result. So tell us who you are, where, you, where you're calling from, and then what has been the value of the mutuality group for you. So I'm gonna start with Subaga. Okay, I'm calling in from North Central Washington um, right now. Um, I was originally participating in the group from the East Coast to add another time zone and area. Um, and um, wow, what's the group has been so amazingly supportive for me. Um, the membership has changed a little bit since we first began. Um, Sugandi and uh, the two Ralphs uh, and I are the original sort of founding mm -hmm. members. But I found myself in the beginning um, not being sure I would really be able to drop in and share in a deep emotional way with people that were more or less strangers to me. Um, I mean, the only person that wasn't stranger to me was Sugandi. Um, and surprisingly, I found that I, I developed a deep sense of trust for these people pretty quickly and just spontaneously organically i was able to really drop into some painful or really emotional places and and cry or you know just express myself in a way that was really authentic in the moment um, and it's been really invaluable to have this re you know recurring form of mutuality over the period of these years from becoming, you know, having recently had my second birth, becoming a mentor, becoming an interning teacher, and, you know, over all this time as my own process has developed and unfolded to have this ongoing support from the same group of people has just been priceless. You're muted though. <laughs> Wrong button. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thanks so much for sharing your, you know, personal um, validation of how this group has served you. And now I'd like to listen um, to Sugandi. Okay. Um, I didn't want to sound exactly the same, but we are coming exactly in the same place. <laughs> you may be able to see that we're connected here by earbuds. <laughs> we we're here in Central Washington, a little town called Twist in the middle of nowhere uh, at this point. Um, this group has been just invaluable for me. I, it has been a place where I, I could share whatever was arising for me at the mo in the moment as each two weeks we would get together and share really quite deeply from from our growing edge and um i don't even remember right now getting to know these people <laughs> you know, it just seemed to happen so fast in a way that we uh, but over time our relationships have deepened significantly um tremendous i feel a tremendous amount of love for each of these people and it's uh and i feel it from them so we've created not just a sacred container of safety but a container of the deepest deepest love really for each other and within that container i've had the really the honor and the pleasure of not only getting support and a sort of observation of my own transformation over five years i've witnessed theirs as well and all the, the changes that we've all gone through together have been shared in in this really really special way um we we just you know we're often like we took that picture and we were all smiling but we're often after each session we're often just sort of gazing at each other with deep love and laughing you know it's very calm at this point you know we have a mentor and 
two interning teachers, two mentors and two interning teachers, and we're all, you know, second birth and beyond, you know, so, um, and we've experienced all this together, all those changes. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, thank you. I just am loving hearing how um, this group has served you so far. Now, um, I know there's two Ralphs on this particular um, mutuality group, so I'm going to call next on Ralph Humphreys. So, um, I'm Ralph Humphreys, yeah, and I'm in Queensland today in a hotel room. Um, <laughs> this is what we have to do sometimes to, to get together. And it's not un uncommon for uh, Ralph Hem to be, because he moves around, to be calling in from various locations. So, um, and I'm normally based in, in Melbourne, in the uh, southeast coast of Australia. And so, as you, as you mentioned, we do have to navigate time differences and, of course, work schedules and all kinds of things to get together. And yet, I think it, it expresses the the importance the group has had for us for all this time we we're constantly leaning into the the challenges of calendars to be together and and we have all been evolving and kind of co-evolving together over this over this span of time and so we've kind of seeped into each other's kind of pores a little <laughs> through this kind of coagulation of our own development together and I, I just feel you know a kind of home here and uh, a space here and even when I got on the call today it was a challenge to get on and yet within five or ten minutes I was so relieved to be in this um, community in this bubble this space this mm -hmm. pod this organism that we're somehow co manifested that's been intrinsic I think and consistent for me living in Australia too in particular this consistent sort of space that's opened up for us together and that has really kind of walked with me you know each with each of you through all the changes that have happened for me as being part of this work so um, invaluable Absolutely, and I feel that love and warmth and delight in getting to know each of the people that's been a part of this group and some who have kind of left who I feel tender towards as well. Wow, thank you. Um, you know, I'm just, I was just at a Trillium holiday potluck party this afternoon and one of the persons there asked me, I do um, online sittings and they said like, you know, how do these work on Zoom? You know, it's like, because he said, I can't really imagine being in the nature of this work that we have, mutuality, that it seems like you would have to be in the same room with people body to body. But even as I talk to you, and I said, you know, there's challenges, like you mentioned, like even like calendar challenges and technical challenges getting, you know, to connect it. And yet what I'm really hearing so far from the three of you that I've already talked about is that it's so worth it to bear with those challenges of scheduling, the challenges of technic technicalities, because there's a real bond that's grown, even despite the fact that you're living in very diverse parts of the world, even that that bond of meeting together is really, really um, intact. So I think that's important for people to hear too, that even using this digital technology, there's, there's seems like this feeling of, you know, of comfort and bonding and love that's grown over these years. So I'm really, I'm really feeling it as you speak about it. So thank you. And I'd still, love to add, yeah, go I'd on. Love to add something briefly to that, which is that a few of us had the opportunity to get together at a retreat we did in Thailand. Um, wow. And so, you know, I, I had met, Sigandi in the US really early in my involvement in this work and that you know Sabaga and Sigandi and Ralph Hem we were all there together and it wasn't more than or less than what we have here it was it was just mm -hmm. a, a, a addition and it was wonderful to be together but it wasn't like oh at last we're physically together mm -hmm. you know it was good to be together and it was there was a all that you know bodies in the room quality 
but I think, you know, that there's nothing less than about being online in some ways because it's, it, it's become a, its own thing. <laughs> yeah. Whereas it's a being. And so, yeah, that's what Thank I would you. say to somebody who has a concern about that. I'd lovely, really, I'm really glad that we're capturing this so people can hear that it's like, you know, it's just the same. Not any more, not any less, though. It's just the same as bodies in the room. Thank you. This is great to hear. Oh, well, let's hear from Wendy. Hi. I'm um, calling in from um, Burlington, Ontario, in Canada. And uh, I haven't been a member of this group for quite as long as the rest of them. I've been... Uh, about three years, I think it is now. And um, initially I had a little anxiety about joining a group that had been together for so many years already and I was going to be the new person. And and um, right from the get-go, I just felt so welcomed in by everybody, and so supported. And it's just grown for me more over the years that we've been, been together. And... Um, it's amazing to me, no matter how I sort of come to our meeting, whatever mood I'm in or whatever's up, um, I always feel really uplifted by the end of our, our two hours together. It's just something very magical about the continuity of, of getting together and the commitment that we have to, to continue to come together. Um, it's really, really just priceless to me. And these beautiful beings who I love dearly have just um, opened my heart and helped me to trust more deeply. And I just feel so safe in this container. And I feel like I can just bring any aspect of myself forward and it will be accepted and, and loved. And that is just so precious to me. I mean, there's not many places in my life where um, I can be that open and unguarded and mm. know that I will be loved and accepted for, for anything. And um, yeah, it's just really beautiful to be a part of this group and to co-create this together and to support each other. And yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just really lovely, too, to just actually hear all of you express how it's valuable to you. I mean, we appreciate each other all the time, but just to hear it in a little bit more depth is really sweet. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. And let's hear from Ralph Hinn. Yeah, I'm Ralph, and uh, I'm here till I get Humphreys to spell our first name correctly. Uh, I'm uh, calling in from San Francisco, but I live in Minneapolis. Um, for me, uh, you know, going to uh, retreats and intensives around the country is is great. You know, where we can share our authenticity and vulnerability, which I crave. But to do it in an ongoing group like this gives us so much more continuity. Uh, and uh, we can remind each other of things we've said in the past that we may have forgotten that are very valuable to us. So uh, uh, to have an ongoing group like this uh, uh, is so valuable. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, I think uh, after a few months of joining this group early on, I tried to drop out and uh, no one tried to talk me out of it. But I, by the end of the call, I decided I was going to stay and now you couldn't get me out. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, for me, it's, it's, it's the continuity and, and uh, uh, the, the ability to relate over time that you don't necessarily get it at uh, uh, retreats and uh, intensives and so on. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much. Like, 
that point you were saying is that continuity seems to be something that all of you are valuing. And, you know, that had takes some dedication. And I love even the fact that, you know, two of you aren't even home right now. Uh, you're traveling, and yet you've de- you're the dedication to, to find a way to make this work even when you're traveling. So I'm hearing that there's that continuity and over time is part of how the trust has grown and the value has been uh, has deepened for you. So I really appreciate you, you know, sharing with me today some of the value of being in a, in a mutuality group. I'm going to close for now, but I just want to give an opportunity if anyone has anything more that you want to say that you know, has occurred to you that hasn't yet been shared, why don't you go ahead and um, unmute yourself and share that? Thing that occurs to me is uh, that you know, for people like us who live in fairly remote areas, and I guess that's you know half of us. Uh, three fifths of us live in sort of, you know, where there's not um, a community at the ready. This is just so useful um, because we, we, we know we're going to come together regularly. So I think for people who do live places where there's not already a, a thriving community, this is a great way to get your mutuality needs met. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I, I want to thank all of you again for joining me this evening and sharing what the value of mutuality group is. And um, I will see you next time, I hope. Thank you.